Okay, so we need some hubs for these mechanism wheels. Um, and we can 3D print them. So measure them up and create the hubs in Tinkercad. The size of the hexagons is measured strangely, so they, they uh, need to be scaled to 17.32 by 20 down to 12.5 by 14.53. Um, and we need to stick a 6mm shaft in there for the rotor output. Uh, not all the way, as the shaft is only 12mm. And we also need a little pilot hole, 2mm pilot hole, um, to screw the hub to the wheel. And we also need to um, put an insert in there to stop the shaft from spinning and chop that off. Um, yeah, okay, that looks okay. So then we take the STL in Cura and convert a G code for the printer. So we'll bump up the infill just a touch because these are going to be taking the drive. Not much force, but it's worth it anyway, probably. Um, it'll improve the print quality. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll print off uh, four of them. This is an old AnyCubit Mega i3, which was <coughs> one of the best value on AliExpress or Banggood or somewhere. I, I can't remember which. Um, and it, it's jolly good. I've replaced the drive motor with a geared one rather than the old um, stepper motor because that used to slip. It works fine, so I'm using PLA. Um, printed at 210 degrees, 70 degrees on the plate. Um, maybe we should try some Petri as well. Never tried that. Okay, let's see if it all fits together. <laughs> 